Hi guys, my name is Joe. Um, now today is World Rhino Day, 22nd of September. And on Karicha, uh, we did promise you guys to try and find Tandi and also her family. Now, um, basically we're out in the morning now, it's nice and early and we're looking for, for her. But no one has seen her, so what we're looking for is um, looking for any evidence that they've been in the area. And one of those things would be dung or poo. Now this is white rhino poo um, that you can see from the grass that is in there. Yes, I am touching poo. Um, it's okay to touch this because it's literally just grass. Um, now basically, um, I'm going to bring it a bit closer. This is just grass in there. Nothing else than grass. They've got a flat mouth, the white rhinos. Tandy is a white rhino. And, uh, and they eat grass. So this is a midden, midden site. And this is where they will deposit over and over again. It's like their kind of Facebook page where they will put all their little news feeds on there. They've been in the area, who they are, um, even if a female is pregnant, then a bull can even smell that in her in her dung. Now this I think is probably from the bull because you can see these scrape marks over here. So what they do is they'll deposit the dung, they'll stand like this and then he'll do a little bit of a scraping. Now that is to make sure that the smell goes everywhere, but also that it goes on his feet and then wherever he walks, he is putting his smell all over the place. That's territory marking. So I think this might be the bull. It is quite fresh. You can see there's quite a lot of insects around there. So, uh, and it's quite wet. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, he might be around here. We'll just have to go out and have a look. Okay. Okay, now we are trying to find Tandi and her family from a different view. We're a little bit higher up. We can see the plains. Because they're white rhinos, they sometimes like to be on the plains for the grass. But unfortunately, still can't see them. Another place we can look for the rhinos, of course, is on the water holes. So there's a lot of puddles uh, around because we had some good rains last week. So um, we're just going to have a look around the, the puddles and uh, the water holes and see if we can find any tracks maybe, any signs that they were in this area and then how old those tracks are. That might give us an indication of if they're in the area or not. We found a, a rhino track, which is brilliant. So what we have here is a rhino that came in and actually slipped into the mud. So that is the front toe of the rhino. They only have three toes. So front toe over there, big front toe. You've got the side toe over here and side toe over here. So you can see that this is quite a big, big rhino just by the footprint. So this could be Tandy. Um, we haven't seen any smaller footprints which could indicate that a uh, little Colin is with her. So this could be Tandy or it could be um, maybe one of the other rhinos. But this is quite fresh. Another rhino midden, also white rhinos. So um, it's quite a distance from where we saw the first one. Um, again, the first one we think might be the male. This, you can see it's not spread out at all. So this could be the females. Um, females same kind of size as the males but then there's a little surprise smaller ones okay so the smaller ones this would be from the calves this could be Colin okay smaller baby smaller poop so this is quite freshish um, probably from from last night or so this since I can see a few white rhinos out in the open but I can't really tell from here if it's tiny or not, so we have to get closer and have a look. Okay. Well, that's what we're gonna do. Now we had a closer look at these rhinos we saw from the far distance. Unfortunately, it wasn't Tandy. So 
we have to keep searching for them, but maybe the sun will help us. It's getting nice and warm now. That was after a cold night. Who doesn't like to be in the sun to warm up again for the day? So let's hope Tandi also decides to come out and gives us a nice visual on here. Thank you.